What's up, everybody? Game Jaws Pops here. All right, I'm going to show you a quick uh, way of getting Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door to work on U to the U Z U uh, emulator. Uh, this doesn't really affect Ryu Jinx, but it does affect this one. So, what you want to do is go to your game tile, right click it, and then go to properties, and then come to CPU, leave it on auto. Graphics has to be like this. All right, have these two checked, GPU, and then the sync, it's normally on. It usually looks like that, the FIFO sync. Take that off completely, right? Leave it on default, uh, 16 by nine is what I got it here. You could put that up if you wanted to, uh, but we'll leave it there at 2X. Nearest neighbor, FXAA, and then advanced graphics, high, automatic, uncompressed, and conservative. Audio, I have it on SDL2, and like that. I have it at 53% volume, just so it doesn't overbear everything else. And then fire it up. And um, if you don't do it, what I just showed you, again, uh, for the graphics, especially with uh, this part being off, immediate V-Sync off. If you don't have that like that, the, the save block will be blacked out, and certain graphics will be missing completely. So I'm going to do this quickly, and we're going to do a new file, and we're going to get to the point where you have to save only, and you'll see that the save block is not black. It actually is the way it should be, so I'll do that very fast, and then I'll get this up to my YouTube channel. It doesn't work with Ryu Jinx, and if you look out there, there's also a 60 FPS patch already made for this game on GBA Temp. Uh, it's an EXF file, so look for that as well. And add it into the mod section of your game, and you will get it quickly moving. So, we're not going to use that file, we're going to use this one. Just because I want to show you what it looks like at the save block, so you see that I'm telling the truth. Just a touch. Okay. Do 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 and yes I do have my own copy if you're wondering picked it up at EB Games in, at the Oshawa Center. In fact, they included a special edition double wrap that has the original game cover and the new version. I love that. So I put it away special. I want nothing to happen to it. So. Alright. On the double, you better get there. Okay, so we'll get to the save block uh, on the dock and then another one just to show you that it works properly with that setup. If you don't have that setup, it won't work. You'll see things are missing. Even the little key on the back of the boat won't show properly. coin doesn't look proper that's spinning right now so it seems to take away all of those little glitches by having it like that so it's pretty important to do unless you're using it on your switch you don't have to worry about it like I did as well all right So 
So we'll go through the process one more time after this. See, the save block actually has the glistening rainbow colors inside of it. Whereas if you don't have it like that, it's just black and it doesn't shine different colors. So that was annoying. <laughs> and again, I don't know if they're going to come out with a patch for Ryu Jinx to fix that emulator, but this works on this why you yeah so again it's all about having it looking the way it should and this setup makes it look the way it should so that's proper and we'll just do this over here real fast and we'll go to the one that's above the steps as well Well, you know that's just not like a random thing that it works properly in other spots too And then uh, when you won fights too, if you don't have it like that, some of the coins that you win are actually half gold, half black as well. That fixes that also. Perfect nine. And then I'll show you where you get the GBA uh, 60 FPS patch. So we'll show you, I made a, a Super Mario, Paper Mario, uh, Dark Shadow Peach, sorry, Shadow Queen, um, Paper Mario, and Princess Peach glider you can use for Mario Kart 8 and Deluxe. Show you that quickly too. Alright, it's all Paper Mario today. So we'll see this other save block up here. And then we'll wrap up. And I'll show you one more time the setup to make it work properly. Not that it doesn't work uh, very well at all, but um, if you have it not the way that it should be, then it won't show the graphics uh, properly in many cases. So this seems to take that away. See the same block over there is nice and shiny with different colors showing. Let's go through this dialogue and then we'll be done.
surely we will. Yeah, she gets abducted a lot. Seems to be her thing. Hmm. Perhaps. Okay. up to getting swindled. <laughs> nah, I got it. Again, this fixes the glitches and makes the save block and other things look proper. So, shut it down. game tile, right click it, go to properties, go to graphics, and it's important to have it on Vulcan. Uh, put this VSync, it's usually always on. Turn it right off. And then leave GPU uh, default, borderless window, I chose that. You can change that if you want. 2x nearest neighbor, FXAA, and audio SDL advanced high automatic uncompressed con conservative. So have it like that and hopefully it'll work for you because it worked for me and I don't have any more graphic problems on this particular emulator and not the Ryu Jinx one but this one Ryu Jinx is totally separate so uh, if you're wondering what I'm talking about if you don't have it properly set up like that uh, when you come to the save block without it being fixed see it in the background there it's black just like that it doesn't have any color so I figured out how to fix it and hopefully you can use that for yourself as well uh, in terms of that glider here's the glider I mentioned and there's the Shadow Queen Peach and Paper Mario they're on the stage I built that myself you can use it as a glider for your Mario Kart 8 Deluxe uh, game on your CFW switch Ryu Jinx or the other one uh, just grab it off game banana and then add it to your game and have fun with it uh, also mentioned that there's a Paper Mario Thousand Year Door uh, 60 FPS patch. Here it is here. So download either one and then when you're on your emulator, right click it again and then open mod data location and it looks like that. It's an EXF and that's it here. 60 FPS PCHTXT. So add that into your mod section. And you'll get the 60 fps so i'll put that in the link as well when i upload this video uh, so there you go if you have time also don't forget to subscribe to me here on youtube all right i'll be back with something later this was just a quick tutorial on how to get that issue as well as other graphic issues fixed on the yu emulator. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Peace. Bye.